everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have been MIA for quite a while, um, but there, there's been a lot going on. So we're in quarter two right now, and I just wanna get you updated on what's going on. So one of the teachers at my school ended up getting a new position as an assistant principal in the district. So he ended up moving to um, a different school, an elementary school. And um, we have been trying to get an English teacher to take his space. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been quite a while since I've posted, but I have been so, so busy and I just wanna keep you updated on what's going on. So the um, reason I've been gone is because we have been doing so much in class that is just different than what I'm used to teaching. Um, we're on a quarter system here, so every quarter I have the opportunity to teach something new. And this quarter I've been working with a book that I personally um, wasn't familiar with. And I've been like those teachers that you hear about where like you're reading three chapters every night to make sure that you're updated on what's going on in the book so that the next day you can teach those chapters and it's been pretty hectic. So I've had a lot of stuff to do. And on top of that, we, we lost one of our English teachers. He actually got a promotion, kind of. He applied for a job over the summer to be an assistant principal. So our English teacher, our English department chair, ended up leaving and we currently have a sub. We've had a sub for two weeks so far and we did go through the interviews and we hired a new teacher for that position. However, that's not gonna be for a while until they actually get back to our campus because they have to go through HR and like transferring and things like that. So anyways, we've had a sub here and um, since he left, um, I got the opportunity along with the other teachers to kind of get some things that were in his classroom such as tables and whatever so one thing that I did get was one of these tables so I have these tables here which I got from another teacher but this is um, what they look like and I ended up putting it back here so it's back here in the back it just makes it more even so these two chairs should be over here and then um, three chairs will go here and one here. Kids don't really sit back here except for my ASB leadership class. That's because they like to paint in these corners. Um, but yeah, so I ended up getting another one of these. So really there was one long one, a desk, and then a long one. Whereas now there's one of these tables in the middle. So it's like this perfect streamline view, I guess. I don't know, it's a perfect fit there. Um, in leadership, we have been doing pumpkins. Well, at least we did a while ago. These are just some of them, and they are so cool. Unfortunately, this one got black paint dripped on it, but man, these are these are awesome. <laughs> and these are just some of them, too. The students took them home. Um, as you can see, my rainbow bins are over here. I used to have a dresser type thing here where I would put all the rainbow bins, but to be honest, the reason I had that was for their notebooks and binders but the binders and notebooks were too heavy so they would knock over those file holders those magazine holders and they would just knock them over and they would fall so it bothered me and then someone on youtube told me just use printer paper boxes so i did i did do that um so i have some over here and these currently hold their notebooks so this is for each of the periods and then instead of binders this quarter i decided to have them do like little portfolios so this is what they look like um, basically like this. So basically a student will have theirs, they'll open it up, you'll see table of contents and then all the work that we've been doing. So these are just a whole lot lighter so they aren't going to knock anything over and it's just easy to just put the entire class work, the class worth I guess. I don't know. It's easy to put them all for an entire class in the lid of a paper box. So their notebooks are in here, their portfolios are in here. So the portfolio just acts like a binder to hold all their work and then I go through and do like binder checks even though they're not binders. Um, but yeah, so I put all of these mailboxes down here. Reason I did that is because these are no longer gonna be used for this quarter. What I ended up doing, as you can see, this class doesn't like to pay attention. <laughs> what I ended up doing was I had each student assigned a number and then that's like their little box where they would hold their notebooks and everything. However, it was really hard for me to grade like that. So I would literally come back here, sit at this table and pull out all of their stuff. And then from there, um, like I couldn't move. I had to make sure like, oh, 
this one's a student's, it goes in that box. If I move somewhere else, I forget which number it is, and it's just too hard for me. So what I originally bought these were these for was like mailboxes, like a teacher mailbox. So I would put all the handouts in there. However, since we're reading a novel, there's not as much handouts. It's mostly notebook stuff, so I would put their notebooks in there, and it just wasn't working. So I put those down there. We aren't using those for the rest of the quarter, which is only like three weeks. And then next quarter, I am going to use them, but like I just said, it's just going to be the handouts are there and if you're absent all the handout handouts will accumulate so you don't have to ask me what you're missing it's still in your box um so yeah these ones are no longer being used that's why i put them down here next quarter for sure they will be that's because sorry i'm out of breath i talk so fast and i don't realize it but i get comments that i talk too fast so i apologize it's just i guess i'm nervous or something um but anyways next quarter um it's quarter three and i'm doing my entire like cur the curriculum entirely is my own so i'll show you what i have um each kid will have one of these notebooks um the reason i get these instead of binders is because they're so much cheaper for the kids to get so like literally you can get this for like 10 cents um walmart 10 cents the only thing is i make sure they have brads so each student will have one of these and all their work for the quarter will go in there so every day we're going to have at least one worksheet and it's going to be easier for me to grade so I don't have to grade the notebooks. I could just literally put all of them in one box and it's still not very heavy. <laughs> when I took, okay, so I took a lot of the notebooks home to grade because I was just done with that um, mail system, the cubby system, because it wasn't working the way I wanted to use it. Um, so I put all the notebooks in a box to take home and man, that thing was so heavy. Like I, I couldn't lift it on my own. I needed help from somebody else because it was so heavy. I even had to get my dad to get it out of my car and then put it back in my car when I was done grading. But yeah, so portfolios are way better. They're cheaper and they're just <laughs> lighter. They don't take up a lot of room. So anyways, um, this will act like a binder. It has the brad so you can still do the three hole punch, which I like. I know some portfolios, they're, they actually look like these manila folders. But when you open it, it'll have two brads at the top. Reason I don't like that is because I don't have a hole punch like that. <laughs> so I just decided these will work. They're 10 cents. It's It'll work. Um, so anyways, when they open it up, they'll see their table of contents. And they're going to fill this out every day when we do our assignments. Or maybe every Friday. Um, they put the assignment title, the due date, what they got on it, and then out of how many points it was. And then I'm still doing class numbers. So... The desks are numbered, but I'm going to have, like, I'm going to erase the desk numbers so that I can move the seating chart very easily and their number won't have to change. Um, but the number will just follow their Chromebook and their cell phone holder. But, uh, yeah, so table of contents will be first. This is their assignments, classwork and homework. And then this would be the back. I just didn't have this done by the time I made these copies. So this is like the back of this first one or the second page for table of contents. And this is where they keep track of their tests. So the test topic, when we took it, what they got. Then we have their participation. Are they talking in class? Are they doing the activities that we do in class? Are all the participation over here, are they turning in their cell phones? Are they talking too much or whatever? Um, so this is seven here, which it should be nine since we have nine weeks, but I don't do the first week participation and I don't do the last week because last week is finals and first week we're still doing schedule changes. So there's seven here. So technically seven weeks worth of participation. And this one has eight since there's seven tests. And then the first week I do give a test that is basically just like a syllabus test and rules test. So that'll be the first week too. Um, Portfolio scores, I grade it seven times, so once every Friday, basically. And then down here is their overall grade, so they're able to calculate their grade. So usually I do um, weighted by percent, but this quarter, next quarter, is when this is when this is <laughs> taking place. Right now, this quarter, we're doing something different. But this quarter, we are going to do points instead, but the points add up to be the percents, if that makes sense. So classwork and homework is uh, you got this many points out of this many so they'll just take the score like example participation they'll take the score add it up and then they'll go down here for participation and they'll add they'll put what they got here and then they'll add up what it was out of and it's out here so they can see exactly what their points are and then the total add up all these points what the whole class is out of and put it here and then add up how much you got in the whole class and put it here then they can calculate their own grade so I like this just so they can be on track and on top of everything that they're doing. Even at the end, they have to write their grade in here for their final portfolio-like thing. This is what they can see. So anyways, this is 
just the table of contents stuff. So this is all in order of their assignments on this first page. And then as you follow this, you'll see the assignments. So the first one is our syllabus. And then on the back, we have a syllabus search, which is just right here. So syllabus we go over in class, their homework. Well, there it is right there. Take it home, get it signed, take it home, do the syllabus search. Next day, our mascots of Puma, so we go over Puma stuff, what is a Puma, Cougar, whatever, and then just, we watch a video and they fill in the blanks. Next one, um, this is when they create their own mascot. So this is their homework. So this is classwork for the first day, or sorry, classwork for the second day, homework for the second day. Next one is the letter I write to them. So I read this to them in class. This is a short day, so they, I just read this to them, talk about it, and then they write me a letter on the back. Fourth day, we go over the First Amendment. That's because I am a young teacher, and I think it's something that women in general deal with too much, and that's harassment, sexual harassment, and just inappropriate behavior. Um, so I, although I teach English, I go over the First Amendment all the time. I tell them what they can say, what they can't say, especially things that they shouldn't say to a teacher. Um, if you are a young teacher, I'm sure you get it all the time. If you're just a female teacher in general, I'm sure you also get it all the time. So I go over with that. I go over. I go over that with them the first week of school, just so they know like you can't say these things like you can't it's not protected under your freedom of speech and stuff so this first one is just a video they fill in the blank and then the back is um, basically a summary of each part of the First Amendment freedom of speech freedom of religion freedom of whatever so they'll write that in there and then a summary of each part and this goes along with an article that I found so this is the fourth day and then the fifth day we actually get into English stuff so or sorry the fifth day is a test on all this stuff. The next week we get into English stuff. So this is plot, definitions, and then fill out the plot. So it's kind of just a lot of different things. Homework's on the back, classwork, and then if classwork continues on the back, their homework is another page that they take home, do the homework, and then continues. And then the next day, classwork, and then homework, and then classwork, and then homework. So it's just a lot easier for them to um, keep track of their things and instead of like homework always being a new worksheet or homework always being in their notebook or online or something it's just easier for them to just go through like oh we did this classwork now we have to do the back for homework um i thought that would be easier for them and plus this is everything that i made um or things that i found and just put together um this is stuff that I love teaching, stuff that I think is really important for them to know. I think English gets lost a lot in reading and answering questions, and then reading and then answering questions, and reading and answering questions. So we adopted a new curriculum that I'm not a fan of because it, it, because it is really like that. You read this, you answer questions. You read this, you answer questions, and it is monotonous. And sometimes it bores me, so I'm like, these kids, like, I know what it feels like. I know you don't like it. I know it's boring. Um, so this stuff is a lot different because I can actually teach lessons on like skills instead of just reading and answering questions. It's not just comp questions. It's like practicing skills. What is tone? How can you use tone? Give me an example. Show me an example. Let's watch a video clip and tell me where the simile is in this Disney show. Um, so it's just a lot of skill stuff that's more fun and more interactive. Um, while at the same time, a lot more organized, a lot easier to organize and just keep track of everything that we're doing in our portfolios. So anyways, I've been making copies and I've been going wild. So because it's a worksheet every day, it's a lot of copies, especially since I have like a lot of classes of English 9. Um, so this is what I have of all my copies. This is what it looks like when you run out of copies, guys. So this is my week one for next quarter, week two for next quarter, week three, week four I haven't printed out because I ran out of copies, week five I have one, and then these are readings that go along with this week, and then this is the rest of this quarter. But yeah, it's a lot of copies, but I'm gonna be honest, it if it works, I don't care. Like I know I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get a lot of stuff like, oh you're killing trees, but no, like if it helps them then we'll plant some trees. We'll plant some trees to make up for it. But if I can help them learn that way, then I'm gonna take advantage of it. So I want them to know like, hey, we're gonna make it fun. So anyways, um, when a kid is absent, I'm going to put all of the stuff in their cubby. So at the beginning of the day before school even starts, I'm gonna come in and these will be back up here. They were up here before, but since we're not using them, I put them down here. Um, next quarter, these will be back up there and they are each gonna have their own cubby and that's just where I put all the handouts. So day one, everybody has a handout. If you're absent, that's okay, it's still in there. If you're here, you grabbed it, 
you turned it in or you took it home for homework. Um, the next day, if you're absent, well, you, now you have two worksheets. The next day, now you have three. So it'll all accumulate. So when you're absent and then you finally come back like a week later, instead of asking me, Miss Wiley, what did I miss? Well, go check your cubby. It's all in there. Don't worry. That way it's a lot easier. Anyways, I'm running out of breath. Um, the teacher left, so I got some things. I got the table, and I want to show you another thing that I got. So when I was doing my first teacher setup uh, classroom video for this one, I put these up here. Remember, we had pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Well, they all fell. They fell behind here. So I can't get them anymore. So I can't use them anymore. So it was kind of a bust. I'm going to take these down, but I haven't yet because at this point I was just like, eh, if they fall, I lost them all. It's fine. Um, I got these from the teacher who, who was leaving. And I figured I could just put these up there. So we have paradox, we have symbolism, we have metaphor, we have foreshadowing, we have onomatopoeia, irony, personification, alliteration. So we have quite a few up here. So I figured we could take these and put them up here instead. Yeah, they're not rainbow, but it's fine. And it will add a little bit of, not hints, but like tools for them to use when they take a test or when we're going over something, like when we go over figurative language. What's alliteration, guys? Look up on the board. And then they can see that. So I'm gonna put those up. Um, so yeah, anyways. I just wanted to keep you updated. I have so much stuff going on. I'm gonna post more regularly, I promise, 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 but I just wanted to catch up on what's going on. I've just been so busy working and getting everything ready for next quarter, and honestly, I was getting stuff so ready for next quarter, I was so excited, making my own curriculum at home, like I'm up till one in the morning making curriculum just because it's so fun to me, which sounds so weird, like I guess I'm that teacher now, but, um, I don't know I think when you make your own it's just more personal and it feels better so it makes you happy whereas when it's a curriculum that like you're told to use you don't I don't know I don't know you know what I mean anyways um this is what it looks like when you run out of copies but I was so into getting everything ready for next quarter that I ran out of copies and I didn't have anything <laughs> like I didn't have any more copies ready for this quarter I couldn't use any because I was out and there's still three and a half weeks left until the end of the quarter, so I'm out of copies. And luckily, our office lady is so, so sweet. We love her. And she let me make a couple more using her copy code. So this is what I have for the rest of the quarter, which is kind of a lot. But I teach like three different subjects, so it's three different subjects of things in there. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I've been so busy, so I do apologize, but like I said, I am going to definitely get on the videos again. I realize I have so many more subscribers than from when I left, so if you're new, hi. Thanks for subscribing. I'm so happy to have you here. If you have any questions, let me know. I will answer them freely in the comments. If you want to email me, you can do that too. It's down in the down bar. Um, if you're interested in any things you see in my classroom, like this here, cell phone caddy or anything, I always link those down for you in the down bar. And then check out my playlist. I have playlists in my YouTube, like, I don't know, playlist tab. And that um, just has all my videos categorized. So if you see this and you don't know how I use it, I have a video on that and you can check that out too. So anyways, as always, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Let me know if you have any comments. Share this video with your friends and I will see you next time. Bye.